Hello and welcome back to Promise Gaming and EU4 Common Sense Scotland. I am back from uh, several days worth of vacation. If you don't already know, I went and got myself married and then went on a honeymoon and now I am back here. So I do apologize for the delay, but I don't actually regret it one little bit. So, where do we leave things off? Uh, hard to say. I do remember that we did just take a little bit of province, a um, little territory in continental Europe, and we did pick up Burgundy as a vassal. Burgundy, with the idea being, should have a number of claims slash some cores. Now, we may not be able to use these cores against France anytime soon. Still, it is going to be nice having a vassal in the Netherlands region that can start uh, fabricating a bunch of claims for me so I can gather up this territory without spending all the uh, uh, administrative points myself. Speaking of admin points, I do want to point out, um, I did see a comment a while back uh, that I shouldn't core Cornwall, instead I should sell it to England, and then just inherit them all, uh, whenever I do form Great Britain, which I probably will do. Unfortunately, I didn't see that in time, I did have to pre-record a little bit in advance in order to get content out while I was on vacation, but that actually was a fantastic idea, and I really wish I had thought of it. Because it would have been really, really cool to save myself a couple hundred, uh, admin points. And um, just pay like 10 prestige for selling a, uh, selling a province. That would have been a much better strategy. I didn't think of it. I wish I had because it was a great idea. So, oh well. Alright, well let's just uh, pick up where we left off. Looks like we are coring Artois. Hanat has announced Flanders as a rival. Stupid Flanders. We did discover the Romanche Gap. Wherever that is. Also, I'm getting some terrible frame rate considering... This is a fresh video for the day. Oh, by the way, if the audio quality sounds a little different today, that's because it is. I also had to take some time and move into a new apartment. Another reason I was gone for so long. All right, so we could invest in military tech, but we are currently ahead of time by a year. So no pressing need to spend the extra military points. Let's just make sure we don't get capped. Uh, definitely want to start working toward modern theocracy, though. Uh, admin Tech 10, and once I'm able to do that and start picking up the Exploration Idea Tree, we should see some more options opening up to us. I do believe I will be forming Great Britain when I hit Admin Tech 10, by the way. I know some people, I saw actually, I did actually see a comment saying, don't do it, don't do it, you'll be as bad as the English. First, I'm not sure, entirely sure what that's supposed to mean, but um, I, I don't know, I'm, I'm not interested in playing a game where I kind of form a confederacy of England, Scotland, Wales, and Ireland. I mean, that, that's cool, but that's a challenge I'm not quite looking for. Ultimately, the benefits of forming Great Britain are pretty substantial. You know, the fact that you'll, um, well, what does it say? Hang on. Frame drop, drop is so bad right now. There we go. Let's see. The monthly autonomy change is actually, in and of itself, pretty substantial. Definitely worth consideration, and I believe, from the EU4 wiki, my understanding is, uh, if you form Great Britain as Scotland, you get different ideas than if you had formed the British nation as England. I'm not entirely sure if that's true or not, I guess we will find out. Uh, but that would be something, wouldn't it? Sure as heck it would. Wow, the frame- I'm watching my little frame counter up in the corner, and it's like super inconsistent right now. It's jumping from, right now it's down to 18. And now it is up to... well, now it's back down to 18. Now it's up to 37. Nope, now we're in the 40s. Now we're down to the 20s. See, I don't understand. I don't know what's going on, I don't know what's wrong with my computer today, but it's not happy with me. It's in a new environment, and just like a plant that has been uh, uprooted and moved to new soil, it tends to go through a shock period. Apparently. It's not true at all about computers, but I'd like to think it was, because it makes me feel better about the fact that my computer is acting stupid. Alright, we got more ships, presumably to... Patrol the English Channel, that's typically what I would do with these light ships. So we'll do that. Come on, there we go. Wow, it's really bad. Now we're down to one frame. Up, up, up. Wow. This is silly. This is, oh, now we're up to 60. Okay, I don't know what changed, but now we're having 60. Oh, no, it's gone. See, yeah. Ugh, I don't know. I, I, wish, I, could, I wish I could justify upgrading my computer and spending a whole lot more money on it, but... Uh, Unfortunately, being newly married and all that stuff, and having my budget completely turned topsy-turvy... Well, kinda hard to do that. We can no longer claim Picardy. Really? Which was Picardy? Picardy was... oh, Picardy was France. No, Picardy originally was Burgundy. Which is why I fabricated a claim on it, but then France took Picardy, and then I swept in and took over... 
Artois and vassalized Burgundy in Flandres. So, yeah, okay. Hanat, you fool. I would like to, uh, oh, crud, Austria would join in. Wait a minute, Austria's my rival, isn't he? Wait a minute. Is Austria my rival? Austria is my rival. I don't want to rival uh, France or Sweden. I know I have too few rivals, really, but... So, fighting a war against Austria isn't necessarily the worstest thing ever? Well, no, actually, it would kind of suck. Hang on, let me think about this for a second. So, if I did declare war on Hanat, Austria gets called in automatically because they are the Emperor. And that means I can't separate peace out Austria to humiliate them and get power projection, isn't it? Well, that would suck, wouldn't it? Also, I'm really not sure what truce they're talking about. Am I? Do I have a truce? Apparently I have a truce. Okay, maybe I'm wrong. Ten years? Oh, screw Hanat. Flanders! What if I declared war on Flanders? Flanders is tiny and not part of the Empire, and Oldenburg would defend them. Do I want to take Antwerpen? For the sake of my my vassal Burgundy, you better believe I do. Should we just do that now? Is there any reason not to? I mean, Oldenburg's just a one province minor. I don't care about them, right? Yeah. Yeah, it could be kind of fun to just take over Flanders. Stupid Flanders, you should have joined my empire when I gave you the chance, you dum dum. You big dummy. All right, let's raise our army maintenance and get ready for this war then. Burgundy currently has absolutely no military to speak of. Which is rather funny, but, um, it's probably fine. Uh, Hanat, would you give me military access? You would, so that's good to know. Good, good. Uh, our Inquisitor has died. That's probably fine. Wow, frame drop goes down again. Come on. Seriously, puppy? What's going on? What, uh, wh why? Why? Why does today have to be a case of the Mondays? It actually is Monday at the time of recording. I'm not sure when this video is going to go up, but, uh... It's been a bad day. That's all I gotta say. I've been having a really bad day, and the frame drop is just making me sad. Alright, hang on a minute, guys. I gotta fix this, as per the usual. Alright, hopefully that has fixed the issue. It is actually the next day, because I was not able to get any of this to work. Oh, there goes the frame drop once again, and it's back. Okay. Starting to get a little bit apprehensive that this game may be uh, due for a reinstall. But anyway, yeah, couldn't get it to work on uh, that day, so now it is... Tuesday at the time of this recording. Where were we? What were we, what were we gonna do last time? Oh, right. We were gonna declare war on poor stupid Flanders, weren't we? Yes, yeah, so let's declare war on Flanders. We'll only have to fight Oldenburg, which is a one province minor, no real threat to us. And of course, I'm not gonna bring France into this war. Actually, do I want to um, co belligerize Oldenburg? Mm, they're allied with Pomerania and Utrecht. Utrecht, no. Pomerania, not so eager to fight them, so let's not worry about that, shall we? Alright, Flanders it is. Let's declare war, take over Antwerpen on behalf of Burgundy. And we will have to ask for a little bit of access from Hanat. Whoop, Aragon declared war on Castile. Fascinating, I don't see that happen very often, it's usually the other way around. Alright, we have access through Hanat. Let us send our beloved troops up to the north. And we shall conquer Flanders for the good of all. Actually, ah, crud. One thing I wanted to do before I did that, and I didn't even think about it. I actually wanted to enable Scudage, or Scudage, or whatever it's called, on England. Uh, that would mean that they no longer are called into... Whoa, gosh. Nope, 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 nope. Pause. Thank you. Uh, Fleet, can you get back up here, please? I'm getting a lot of buzzing on my phone right now. What the heck? Oh. I'm getting a bunch of severe alerts on my phone because apparently it is, uh... The second Noah's Flood beginning out there. It is raining pretty dang hard, I'm not gonna lie. Anyway, yeah, I don't want to lose those two ships. So if my fleet would do me the favor, thank you, they ran away. Let us continue patrolling the English Channel then. Yeah, so the frame is not exactly good, but at least it's better than it was previously. Trust me, it sucks. All right, we lost a claim on Armour. It's probably fine, that was against France. And in fact, we lost all Cassus Belli against France. It's fine, I really don't want to attack them. I mean, it may happen someday. I fully expect someday I'm gonna end up going to war with France. We're too close of uh, neighbors for that not to happen eventually. Same with Sweden, by the way. Fully expect someday I'm gonna have to murder Sweden. But that day, hopefully, is a long ways away. In the meantime, France is useful for defensive purposes at the very least. People don't mess with you when you got France on your side. You ever notice that? It's true. 
Another ship. Send that out there. We have some rebels, Catholic zealots it looks like, are trying to make their way around. We have Picardian separatists in Artois. Probably can deal with that once we finish off with Flanders, actually. Now that I think about it, we probably don't need to leave this many units here, do we? Unless, of course, we want to go and take on Oldenburg. Oh, wow! Brabant, you just ate all of Holland! Well, that sucks! I guess I'm gonna have to kill Brabant at some point, too, aren't I? Yeah, yeah, that's probably gonna happen. Alright, well, we don't need quite this many units, so let's go ahead and select the army I'm going to leave behind. All of the cannons, eh... Okay, so my leader doesn't have siege value, but still... Come on, frame drop, you stupid and overzealous son of a... <sighs> I really swear, this game must need a reinstall or something, because it is bad. It is really bad when this happens. Come on, come on, come on. I'm going to push through it anyway, because at this point, I'm tired of waiting a full 24 hours just to record a dang episode of a game. Not a very good uh, and triumphant start, returning to EU4 after a vacation. Not very good at all. Come on. Oh, seriously. This just drives me up a wall. Makes me feel really sad. I want to cry and beat something up at the same time. Alright, well, let's select all these extra units and go and send them toward Artois because we do not need them at the moment. I kind of wonder if maybe turning down the speed would help at all? Maybe the computer's just trying to process too much. It's the game. It's not my computer. I mean, it is my computer, but it's also the game. I know that for a solid fact, because everything else runs just fine, but not EU4 lately. I feel like uh, since the last patch, maybe some stuff has changed. It's, it's very finicky. Very finicky indeed. Oh, look, we have a new French monarch. That means that his Regency Council is officially over. That's cool. That's cool. Can we, can we click on France and see what's going on over here? France? King Henry III is on the throne of my dynasty, of course, and he has... No legal heir. Oh, that is good. Well, hopefully he doesn't get any legal heir anytime soon, because then he would be uh, falling under a union. In fact, is this disputed succession? France. Oh, he would fall to me, wouldn't he? Probably. That would be exciting. That would be very exciting. But I'm not going to count on that anytime soon. All right, let's see. Come on. Anything will do. Give me a little bit of frame. A little bit of frame rate. Please. Please. You're not, you're not gonna... Oh, Hanat has religious civil disorder. That's cute. I don't care. I wanted to select my ship. Give me my ship. Give it. Give it. Give it to me. Give it. Ah. Ah. Ugh. One frame per second. Three frames per second. I'm watching the little Fraps indicator and realizing that Fraps absolutely is sucking right now. Maybe I should switch over to Bandicam. Would that work better? I can't seem to be actually getting this... Oh, there it is. Yeah, it is transferring to England. Okay. Wasn't seeming to do much. How bizarre. All right, this obviously can't continue. I am going to probably switch over to Bandicam. You may see a change in the video quality. If so, I apologize, but let's see if that works any better. I will be right back. Okay, well, Bandicam is running now. Really hoping that that is working better, but unfortunately I can't see my little frames per second indicator, so I'm just going to have to assume that it is okay. All right, where were we? We have a new monarch for Austria. New emperor on the throne. That's just fine. We are rivals still. Yes, yes we are. You rivaled me and I rivaled you. It's only fair, I suppose. Do we have any new rivals available to us? Can't find that out while we're still at war. All right, fair enough. I guess we'll just siege down Flanders. Do I want to go and take on Oldenburg? I think I do. <laughs> Yes, yes, I do believe that I do. Um, how am I going to get military access all the way up there? Can I get military access from Brabant? Actually, do I already have military access from Brabant? No, I don't. You never know if Flanders is going to ask for something like that for me. Let's see if we can get military access through you. Military access through Gelra, which should love me. Let's go ahead and start marching the troops up that direction. And we want to get military access... From Munster. There we go. Alright, well we have full military access. And it looks like Oldenburg has decided they want to come and meet us. That is so nice of you. You're so friendly. You're so friendly. Oh gosh, the frame rate is already... There we go. I felt it going down there for a minute. But you decided to attack us with a river crossing and a terrain penalty, you idiot. Goodbye, Oldenburg. 
Go and stack wipe that fool. Oh good, we can convert another thing to our religion. I forgot we were doing that. We almost have full religious unity, which I believe is still our mission. Yes, it is. So this will take us 30 months, unfortunately, which is quite long, but it is the last one. Not much else we can do. We are really close to being capped in all of our technology. So let's go ahead and grab up the next level of military tech because we're no longer ahead of time. And you know what? We might as well grab the next level of diplo tech as well for the colonial range. I was thinking about stockpiling a whole bunch of diplomatic points for when I get to the next level of admin tech, but um, it looks like that's going to be a little while, unfortunately. We are woefully behind when it comes to that. Fortunately, King Robert IV has much better admin than his predecessor, so I'm hoping that that gets way up there eventually. All right, well, go chase down the fools in Oldenburg. Stack wipe. Goodbye. We'll siege you down. We'll take all your money, and that will be the end of it. Oh, dear. Bandicam, please don't fail me, too. I mean, that's just going to reinforce to me that EU4 is the one that's having the problem here. I also have a freaking ton of money. Maybe we should consider building some more stuff. Oh, we can build manufactories now. These increase the local goods produced. They do cost a lot of money. Naval supplies, fish, salt, or tropical wood, copper, or iron. Ooh. 0.32 ducats per month. But it is 527 capital up front. I mean, a temple costs a fifth of that and gets me a fair chunk of money too, so... I don't think manufactories are really worth it in comparison to a temple at this point in the game. I don't think I'm crazy on that. I think that that is fair math, a fair assessment indeed. Um, hmm. Workshops? Actually, let's take a quick look at our naval force limits. We actually can build one more ship. Or wait, am I already building one? That's... Apparently, yes. And it's at 99%. Oh, yeah. One day left. Well, what are the odds of that? Who would have thought? All right. Well, let's take a quick look-see then. Workshops. I'm seeing 0 0.17. 0 0.24. That looks pretty good. We'll build one over there. 0.17 is better than a lot of the temples, so we'll build one over there as well. You gotta spend money to make money, everybody. Take a look at the barracks real quick. Mm, really wondering if it would have been better if I had just spent a lot of my military power getting uh, some military development. It's not too late. I could still do that, but... These just are just such inconsequential amounts of manpower. I mean, 375, meh. It's not bad. It's just not good. It's just not good. Land force limit? I think not. Maybe we want to build some docks. Do we want to build docks and get additional naval force limit, or do we want to keep making money? I think ultimately we just want to keep making money, don't we? I mean, the naval force limit is good, but you don't get a lot of, uh, you don't get a lot of trade power out of a single extra ship. Well, two ships, I suppose. Yeah, that would give me two more light ships. Meh. Meh. Doesn't look like anything quite be beats, uh, 0.16, except for in Artois, and the core is actually almost done there, so let's go ahead and finish that. There we go, Artois is cored, which means you should be able to build a workshop there now. And do we want to build one more temple? Yes, we do. Let's build it in Kent. There we go. All right, we spent off all of our money, but we should start making some money. And frankly, I wouldn't mind sucking Oldenburg dry. Suck them with for, uh, for everything they're worth. It sounds a little raunchy, I know, but it's not true. It's not true. I, I'm not raunchy. I'm not raunchy at all. Uh, okay, so we're going to go ahead and continue to patrol the English Channel. Actually, is Oldenburg even in the English Channel? No, they are not. They are in the Lubick tra Channel, or a trade node. So not a big deal to me, really. Biggest thing is I want to feed as much of the English Channel on, in the uh, Netherlands to Burgundy as possible. That means I need to get Gand. France has embargoed Aragon. Did you just rival Aragon? No, but Aragon apparently has rivaled you, and you have decided that that is justification enough to do have some problems with them. How fun is that? All right. Well, we're just going to have to speed ahead then, I guess. Try to finish off this war. I'm actually going to bump up to speed 5 for a little while, because why not? We're just sitting here. Nothing seems to be happening of any particular consequence. Actually, you know something else? There's not even really any reason to be on full uh, land maintenance right now. So I'm going to go ahead and reduce it down to a little less than half. Enough to keep up with all of the attrition, I think. But small enough that I won't be paying quite as much money, because nothing... These are the two only provinces involved. Neither of them can get uh, raise any more troops. We are not in any danger. As long as we can keep up with attrition and continue the siege, no reason to pay the full amount of money. And apparently we're having a really hard time sieging down Oldenburg without any cannons. I mean, that's not surprising at all. I would assume that to be true, but still. It is taking a very long time. How are things looking as far as the Empire is concerned? 
Looks like uh, Austria is doing fairly well. They are my rival, after all. I'm going to want to murder them at some point. If that's allowed, if that's possible. Provence and uh, Castile are still at it. A traveling minstrel. Recently crossed into our nation's borders. His intention is to roam the country to bring joy to all who hear him. But some say his ears are fit to hear wonderful music. Only my ears. Oh, that is very vain, but also possibly true. I will allow him to go where he wishes and gain a free stability. One stability is definitely worth more than uh, 10 prestige and an extra guy in my court. Most definitely worth it. So, yeah, we'll do that. Whoa, what the heck is this thing? Gran Nimha. I don't even know how you pronounce that. A woman known as Gran Nimha has arrived at our court to petition the release of her sons. What? Queen of Amal, chieftain of the Amal clan. The Sea Queen of Connaught, they call her. So this is Irish, okay? Cox Castle. Huh, huh, the things you can say with that. Oh my gosh. This is apparently some sort of historical thing. This is probably one of the um, women in history kind of pack things that they added into the game. Do we gain a commandant and he is cheaper to employ? Do we get an admiral or do we gain prestige? Make her an admiral? A woman an admiral? Are you serious? That is sacrilege. No, wait. So I can make her our advisor or an admiral, or I can just get in 10 prestige, because, you know, prestige is good. What does a commandant do? I don't remember. Well, presumably it's this. Oh, discipline guy. A half-cost discipline, but he's a skill level 2, which means she will cost 3 ducats a month for extra military power. Or is it just 50% cheaper upfront cost? Either way, discipline is good. I like that. And I'm currently... I could... Hmm. Hmm. Or do I just want to prestige? That's a lot easier, but this will be extra monarch points for pretty cheap. Screw it, we're gonna do it. I'm gonna make a woman my advisor, my commandant. There she is. She, she looks kind of funny. Oh my gosh, she's really cheap up front, and she's half price. She's even better than I thought. Oh, Grand Nibra, I love you. You're great. We're going to keep you. Most definitely. Give me the super extra monarch points, plus five discipline, be awesome sauce. Yeah. I like this woman. I should make more women involved in military affairs. Why not? Why don't I do that? Why am I so sexist? Oh, the feminists will be all over me. I didn't even think about that. Oh, I should do that sometime. Seriously, though, can we just bump up to speed five and just, like, conquer these now? Because it's taking forever and I want to end the video. I want to end the video and find out if Bandit Cam actually did its job. Come on, take Flanders. We got Antwerpen. Good. Um, I'm going to go ahead and start sending the rest of the troops over here because they got the cannons. Doop, 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 doop. And, oh, seriously, a 42% chance and you failed? You suck! 63% chance. Seriously? I mean, like, really? I kind of figured you would actually... I, there we go. All right. All right. Let's go ahead and march all the troops back home. Actually, I'm just going to leave them here. Because I can go ahead and just cancel military access. They will all get black flagged, I believe. So let's go ahead and do that. And Hanat, I no longer need this either. Let's get our Diplo points back from having too many relationship slots. New Monarch and, Na and Provence. Don't care. All right, Oldenburg, I don't want your filthy territory. I will, however, take war reparations. 114 ducats, I will force you to be Protestant for the sake of the prestige. You will give up an old treaties with Pomerania, and you will give up claims in, um, in the Hansa. Yes, that is an acceptable deal. We'll get a bit of prestige out of that. Ten prestige, specifically. They're black flagged, exactly as I intended. Flanders, you fool, you stupid, sexy Flanders fool. You should have joined when you had the chance, but you resisted. Like a dummy. Actually, we need to go ahead and transfer the occupation to Burgundy. There we go. All right, now we'll sue for peace. Antwerpen goes to Burgundy, which makes them happy. We will go ahead and force the religion for a little extra religious unity. No need to annul treaties. I will take all your money. And I think that is it. So let's go ahead and uh, increase the size of our vassal. And they should automatically 
be Protestant. So is the rest of Burgundy, so they have full religious unity. Must be nice to be them. Uh, do I have full improved relations with you? I do not. Well, that's just silly. Let's, uh, let's, let's improve relations with my vassal. We kind of need that. And I apparently have conquest against Burgundy. Well, that won't do me a lick of good now, will it? There we go. Okay. Uh, oh. The Center of Reformation is doing some stuff over in Holland, apparently. That's amusing. Lothian, would you please just fall over and convert? I mean, really? Is it that complicated? Is it really? Um, okay. Was there something else I wanted to do? Yes. Before I forget, we're going to enable Scudage on England. Now, the reason we're going to do this is because England is small with... It appears... Oh, they do actually have five transports. They actually can do stuff. Maybe I don't. England has six troops and five transports. All right, never mind. They actually can float around and do stuff. Do I want to enable Scudage on Burgundy? Why bother calling them into a war when they can't do anything? No, because if I want to feed them territory, I'm going to need them. All right, never mind. England has just barely managed to prove themselves useful enough that I actually do want to allow them to join our wars and fight along our side. And they only give me 0.98 ducats, which means enabling Scudage in order to get an extra point for, um, 50, no, point 0.49, right? Yeah, point 0.49 Ducats is not really worth it. I think 6,000 infantry and 5 transports are actually more valuable to me at this point. So, all right then. Well, I think that's going to be enough for this video. So thank you guys for watching. This has been Provis with EU4 Common Sense Scotland. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit the like button. Welcome me back from my honeymoon. And I will see you guys for the next video. Bye!